how does a metal detector work? They all work on fundamentally the same principle. What happens is the metal detector creates a, a varying magnetic field. It does this by pumping current through the coil. It's quite a common thing, you're like, oh, how deep does this go? But it's interesting to know that it's as much about the object that you're trying to detect as the detector itself. A pulse induction detector creates uh, like a burst of magnetic field and then goes quiet and listens, exactly like a, a CB radio, for example. Pulse induction machines tend to be pretty good for gold uh, because they just have maximum depth in various grounds, but they're not very good at discrimination. The only time I really use one is on the beach. What I use mainly for pure depth when I know there's targets down there. On an Equinox, um, it's got a range of what's called double D coils. So you've got one D this way, which is a transmit, and the other D that is a receive, and they're overlapped like that. There's actually like a, a blade, and it's that blade that a, as a user is sweeping over the ground, you've got to imagine you've got a blade of magnetic field that you're sweeping across. Is that why, I think I'm right, but um, a larger coil um, will often give you more depth? The answer to that is it depends, but let's assume the coil's exactly like a scaled up version of the smaller coil. What tends to be the case is the actual magnetic field is just spread over a larger area. The environment around us has a lot of electromagnetic energy from radios, smartphones, storms and lightning, all of that energy unfortunately can get picked up by your metal detector. What you can do is actually do what's called a noise cancel, where you actually cancel all that environmental interference out. Yeah, so another analogy is CB radio. If there's a heap of traffic on one channel, then you just move to another channel where it's quiet, and that's essentially what a noise cancel is doing.